we will see some examples related to ASA criteria of congruence in triangles. In the given figure, the ray QS bisects angle PQR as well as angle PSR. Is triangle PQS congruent to triangle RQS? Here we have to find out whether triangle PQS is congruent to triangle RQS or not. We have been given ray QS bisects angle PQR. We know that the bisector of an angle divides the angle into two equal parts. With this understanding, we can say that angle PQS is equal to angle RQS. Similarly, ray QS also bisects angle PSR. Therefore, we can say that angle RSQ is equal to angle PSQ. Now, in triangle PQS and triangle RQS, angle PQS is equal to angle RQS since they are the angles formed by the bisector QS. QS is equal to QS since this is the common side of triangle PQS and triangle RQS. Similarly, angle PSQ is equal to angle RSQ because they are the angles formed by the bisector QS. Since two angles, angle PQS and angle PSQ and the included side QS of triangle PQS are equal to the corresponding angles, angle RQS and angle RSQ and the included side QS of the second triangle, triangle RQS. Therefore, under the ASA congruence criterion, both these triangles are congruent. Under the correspondence, P is correspondent to R, Q is correspondent to Q, S is correspondent to S, and PQS is correspondent to RQS. Therefore, we can say that triangle PQS is congruent to triangle RQS. Always remember to pay attention to correspondence while showing the congruence relation. Next example. In the given figure, we have KL and ON are parallel and KL is equal to ON. Then, is triangle KLM congruent to triangle NMO? We have been given KL and ON are parallel and KL is equal to ON. Let's talk about triangle KLM and triangle NMO. We observe that the line segment KL is parallel to the line segment ON. And here we can consider OL as the transversal of both. You are aware that when a transversal line cuts two parallel lines, then the alternate interior angles formed are equal as depicted. Here, angle L is equal to angle O because it is a pair of alternate interior angles formed by the transversal line of the parallel lines. Angle K is equal to angle N because it is also a pair of alternate interior angles formed by the transversal line of the parallel lines and we are given KL is equal to ON. Since here two angles, angle K and angle L and the included side KL of triangle KML are equal to the two corresponding angles, angle N and angle O and the included side ON of the second triangle NMO. Therefore, under ASA congruence criterion, both these triangles are congruent.
here is the correspondence k is correspondent to n l is correspondent to o m is correspondent to m but if we look at the given relation of congruence it gives us the following correspondence here the correspondence of both the conditions are not satisfied hence triangle klm is not congruent to triangle nmo can you tell us how we can write the correct relation of congruence think for a while absolutely right we can write it in any of the following ways in the same manner try to establish the congruence in different ways today we saw some examples related to asa criteria of congruence in triangles in the next video we will see some misconceptions related to them Thank you.